what Chinese scientists found was a very different kind of rock than anything that had been collected on the near side. American Apollo astronauts brought back large amounts of lunar rock and dust from the various locations where they touched down around the equator region. So we thought that we had a pretty good idea of what the moon was made of, but turns out we were only getting half the story. Material from the far side is not only lighter in color than the near side, it also has a much different texture. The first impressions from Chinese scientists found that the dust and rock on the far side is thicker and stickier and contained more lumps than previous moon samples. And while there is less volcanic rock on the far side, the samples of lava that the Chinese did find there have turned out to be much younger than expected. The generally accepted theory is that the far side of the moon cooled down much faster than the side that was facing the Earth, because the Earth itself was still incredibly hot and volcanically active in those early years. So what researchers expected to find on the far side would be the oldest volcanic material on the moon, and they did. One fragment of lava found by Chang'e 6 dates back 4.2 billion years, the oldest moon rock discovered so far. But they also found a lot of relatively young volcanic rocks on the far side, with an average age of 2.8 billion years, that's much younger than a lot of the samples collected by Apollo astronauts, which were typically over 3 billion years. So the picture that we're starting to reveal is a moon that was hot and molten for a much longer time than previously believed. And that actually goes against a lot of what the Big Splash theory is trying to tell us, because if the Earth and the Moon did form at the same time, and the Moon is so much smaller than the Earth, then it should have cooled down and solidified much faster, especially on the far side. But it doesn't look like that's what actually happened.